17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three right, down to the 38. All right. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Call it a three-yard game, and it'll be third down. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Underneath for Johnson. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. All right. Play action. Now it's Rodgers escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Nigel Bradham, the linebacker, right there on the coverage. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Mike Daniels in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And he'll bring it back to the nine-yard line. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that. 
because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. He's going to get it running right. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They run with Hines, and he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Point. Forbath able to convert the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. Forbath out to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can drive as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 35. Wentz fighting his favorite receiver, Jeffrey, on a big one. 45 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Great 15, great 15. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first down, Wentz. Ertz has it left side. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Drops it off to Ajayi, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense... Be aware, a ball may come your way. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. From the gun on third down, wins. And that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. 
Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Johnson on the counter. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They'll start out on the ground with a giant. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Tackle made there by Nick Perry. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second down, here's Wentz. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. 23 yards on the play. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space and let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against him. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Kevin King coming up from the secondary to make the play. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And he'll go ahead and field this at the five. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Go, go, go. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. Rodgers to throw on second down. It's caught outright by Graham. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. 
but he's not one of the more think? dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On third down, that's Hines. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. A gain of three, second down. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. Here's Rodgers to throw. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now it's Hines. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra go DBs ahead, on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line ahead, of scrimmage. Go, and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Give him three on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. On play action, Rodgers. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Rodgers to throw for it on four. That's to his running back, complete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Eagles defense able to hold. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Wentz now on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Wentz now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bird. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Wentz now 7 of 10 here in this first half. And he's got a first and 10. From the red zone now, wins. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14-7. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And now the Packers get set to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Yeah, 
Now a handoff. Johnson. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. Well, that came a little abruptly here. So working on my apple up in the booth. Hang on here. Let me spit this out. And we can get to the third quarter now. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Wentz to throw on second down. Hurts over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On first and 10, here's Wentz. Oh, he stays up. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Vince Beagle in to drop him behind the line, and that's a loss of a yard. After the sack, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Wins. And he's going to go down again. Vince Beagle in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. On third and long, it's Wentz. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They go play action here on first down. He's going to float this one deep right. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play that time for the Packers. 42 yards. 
That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Duke Johnson, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers are back with it a score. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Four bath out to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. Jay Ajayi's going to go. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jay Ajayi, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Charles, they had six DBs out there. They were thinking pass. They surprised him with a long run. I wonder if they saw that and just checked to it. Maybe had an audible and said, you know something? Against six defensive backs, let's run the football. Let's get our big guys downfield and match up with the littler guys and see if we can create some space. And not only did they create space, they created a path all the way to the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They begin the drive with Johnson. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They run again with a giant. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Four down, four down. Set, eight, eight, eight. Here's a giant. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally 
and open up a crease that they can run through. It didn't happen on that play. Wentz now to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Now Wentz on third down. And that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. Carson Wentz with touchdown pass number four on the afternoon. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make it a second down. On play action, it's Rodgers dancing to his left. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That one goes for 24 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Rodgers now on first down. Duffing it off for Johnson. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Johnson, and an alley to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They give him 12 yards and a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Got a man open. It's Adams. 
Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers get a score closer. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And oh, it'll be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's at the 30, 10, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Four bath out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. All of a sudden, they have quite a bit of breathing room. This was a one-score game, but touchdowns on their last two drives, and now comfort is here, so to speak. <laughs> it certainly is for them. I've been in this situation before on the flip side of this. And all that's going on there is a little bit of finger pointing. Hey, what's going on? How can we stop them? Can someone make a play to try and stop this momentum? Well, they're going to be ball hawking because they need a turnover on that other side. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Bring there, yeah, bring, bring seven, there, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Working from the gun, Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One thing you're hoping... For ...when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Johnson running left. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon, and that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Ronald Darby, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll begin the drive with a Jai. 
And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. This is Ajayi. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here we go, here we go. Right back to him on first down. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now a toss play. It's a Jai. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Come on, Come on now. Let's go. They run with Ajayi. Ajayi a first down and more. And finally taken down at the 15. That good for 19 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now it's Ajayi. He will push his way down to about the 14. Vince Beagle, the one to bring him down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. job to break the one tackle but not much daylight after that as he's brought down call it a gain of five that time and they'll be left with a third and about four 